hey guys welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to be sharing with you how i moisturize my hair um so as you can see my hair is looking crusty as hell and we need to do something about this and so these are the products i'm going to be using some water in a spray bottle um some leave-in conditioner by sheer moisture the jamaican black castor oil version and my cream would be my Cantu curling coconut cream um yeah the coconut curling cream that's what i'm using and to seal in the moisture i'll be using my homemade shea butter whipped shea butter that's almost finished as you can see in this video um and to finish off i will be applying this mixture of oil on my scalp to give myself a good massage and so to begin this i start off by spritzing my hair with the water um this is only because my hair was so dry and i couldn't apply my product straight away because it wouldn't go on as good as i would like it to go on um so yeah i just dampen my hair a little bit and um, not too wet but just um enough for me to be able to manipulate my hair because it was so dry i'm telling you i left my hair for like two days after wash day and i did not do anything about it i just left it in there because i wasn't well and i wasn't feeling like doing anything to my hair and um, so to begin i am starting off by using um the leave-in conditioner so the way i apply this i use the lco method um some people use the loc method but i prefer to use the lco method because it just works well for my hair and um, i feel like my hair is able to retain moisture properly this way so obviously i am just applying all the products in that same order the way i showed you in and then i just yeah apply that product into my hair work it in there and then do a bit of detangling as well as i go as you can see i am not using any combs because i'm just not using any combs at the moment and then after i'm done i um braid up the hair and then do a mini twist at the end of the hair and i also apply a bit more of shea butter to the ends of my hair just to keep it more moisturized and as you can see i am a bit generous with my hair because i only do this um once every five days or even every seven days up until my wash day so once a week um or twice a week so yeah and I, I like to use a lot more products so that i don't have to use you know i don't have to do it every so often like every so often so this um routine works well for me so yeah i am just continuing and doing the same thing um that i did on the first part yeah so that's what i'm doing and i'll just be you know doing a bit of detangling and then braiding and then just doing this all all over my head and then yeah that's that's that so yeah i'll just let you watch from here on and just see what i'm doing this is one of them jams where you know that the side plate ain't the main meal <laughs> the missus to the king where's the bombshell contour <laughs> Among us, a map well, Kunishimikila Veo Mamunza. Come on, Ziva Queva tea. We are in the night there. Will it be Zanama span? Who won't know Gampaka Fipongo so gay? Don't why she were Limbo Chinto, but we never are Someone Mm -hmm. 
So again, on this last section, I am just repeating the same steps, which are applying my leave-in conditioner and then following up with my um, cream and then i follow up with my shea butter um it's really important to follow up with an oil or a butter to seal in the moisture so that you are able to retain all that moisture once you've applied all your moisturizing products into your hair um so i just work that into my hair making sure i don't leave out any strands and then i just finger detangle um, there are many benefits for you know doing finger detangling because you um, minimizing breakage and you are able to feel for any single strand knots with your fingers as opposed to a comb and you can you know gently remove them um, whereas a comb will probably rip them out and then you'll be breaking your hair um, so um I just carry on finger detangling I will do a more in-depth video about finger detangling if you'd like me to do so um so obviously I just braid up the section um yeah When I am done with um, all my braids and my moisturizing, I follow up with my oil to, you know, oil my scalp um, because, you know, you want to keep your, your scalp moisturized as well. So I just put some oil, um, not too much because you don't want your oil to be dripping down your face or going all over your your bed sheets or i know that or your clothes so i just give myself a quick massage you know massage is good for you know um helping with blood flow and circulation to the head or increased hair growth should i say um and it's just it's just nice you know to give yourself a nice good massage so yeah i just distribute that all around my head and um yeah um and i think that's that um that's my happy face and here i'm just showing you um two days after my hair is still looking moisturized it's still in these braids i do keep these in like for a week until my wash day if i'm not styling my hair i just keep it like this so thank you for watching bye guys yeah.